Hey everybody, John Doan here from Equinox Home Financing. Today I wanted to talk to you about calculating or understanding how income works if you're self-employed when trying to buy or finance a home. There's all different kinds of you know situations out there for people to be self-employed. So we'll start from like the different tiers as far as simplicity to complexity goes. You know, if you're a 1099 contractor, for example, and you're just a contractor, independent, you're self-employed because you control your hours, your time, could be commission-based, could be service-based, whatever the, it, the reason is, 1099 contractors are self-employed. You get a 1099 at the end of the year, and then you file that on your 1040 tax returns on the form called Schedule C. It's your business profit and loss. That would be like the easiest and most simple way to go to file taxes. Next step up would be having a sole proprietorship. So that means that you're self-employed. You may have a restaurant or a retail store or a service that you do. You don't have a corporation and you're not 1099. You know, you go to the county recorder's office, you file what's called a fictitious business name and you get a DBA. DBA stands for doing business as. You don't have a federal tax ID number. Instead, everything's tied to you personally under your social security number. And in this instance, whatever you generate in income, you would also file on your Schedule C tax return. Okay, um, same as a 1099 contractor, same form on the 1040. The next and last phase is typically a LLC or a corporation. This gets a little bit more complex, so I wanna take my time to explain this. Number one, if you have a corporation, there's a couple of different ways to pay owners of the company. Number one, if a corporation W-2'd the owner as an employee, you would get payroll checks consistently and W-2s at the end of the year. That's one form of income, okay? The second is every time you pay yourself non-W-2, that's called an owner's draw. That means you're paying yourself money. And at the end of the year, the corporation would issue you a K-1 form. If you got W-2 from your corporation and you took draws, you now have two forms of income, which would both then translate to the 1040 when you go file at the end of the year. Both of these forms, you know, well, the K-1, would get filed on your Schedule E tax return before write-offs or whatnot. These are the forms that we would be using. So if you're a 1099 contractor or a sole proprietor, and when you're looking to finance a mortgage or buy a home, we're just looking for two years of tax returns. Okay, 1040 tax returns, that's all you need. You know, we don't need the 1099s. We don't need to verify anything else because these are filed with the IRS and you know that's what we go off of. If you have a corporation, we will need all your corporate tax returns for two years and two years of your 1040s for us to be able to analyze what your exact self-employed income is. If you have any other questions about how to calculate that or if you need help calculating what your income should or will be, give us a call today. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel below so you can find out more about home financing.